First open the folder with your video files in and drag to one side. Click on Nero Start and then Nero Video. Select Make Express Movie. And when it opens up drag it over out of the way. Simply select your files and drag them in and drop. There is another way of bringing files if you go to import, import file onto your desktop and you can select any files that you like and just drag them in or if you double click you can drop them in that way. Just delete that one right click and remove from track at any point during the video you can just drag files and add them in ok let's take a look at what we've got um, this clip is about 57 seconds long, far too long, we're aiming for roughly between 9 and 12, 13 seconds I like that where it's zoomed in so I'm going to split the clip right click and remove the front part so now we start at that pause that yep so split the clip again, right click, remove that one. Now we've got a nice little 9 second clip. Just check this one out. Yeah that's fine where it is, so split, right click, remove from track. Now I'm going to pull that one over so that I've got that nice looking scene for the end carry on with this one which is a bit too long so pause split the clip get rid of the end bit yeah that looks nice enough that one right we're going into transitions now and I'm looking for a crossfade which I'm going to add at the beginning right click and set the duration a couple of seconds should do then another crossfade for the end making this one a little bit longer so we've got a nice little fade out three seconds now I'm putting the clock there if you come across any of these that you like say you like that one just go over click on the star and it will favorite it I'm just um, putting on the ones that I prefer I'm looking for kaleidoscope now I think I've gone that's it just drop these in I'm just showing you here right click that the default for these is one second so if you want one any longer obviously just adjust it have a quick look click on here to full screen yeah that's looking nice enough Sometimes the picture quality when you're just editing is reduced so the PC can concentrate on actually working in the background. They're fine but the background noise is a bit too much so I'm going to reduce them down to 10 or 12 something like that. Do the same for every one. that sorted 
So now I'm going into audio to add some uh, background music. Just try these at random and um, they very probably be something there that you like. Just drag that to the beginning. If I'd have left the pointer at the beginning it would have automatically done that but there you go. I'm right clicking here to set the duration of that fade 4 seconds a really nice slow fade of the music that's fine let's have a listen hmm don't think that really does the job so we'll get rid of that and have another so right click remove from track have another look through once again I'm going to uh, I'm turning the volume level down on this a little bit now and I'll have to reset the fade out at the end there which is there set the duration 4 seconds again see how that sounds full screen it get the full experience then I think that's far better. I'm just going to show you now video effect top left. I'll do a couple of random transitions, not transitions, effects, and show you how to apply them and then remove them if you don't like. Experiment. They're there to be tried. Play that. Hmm. Not bad, but not for this film. But. So, undo at the bottom. This undo and redo control, you can re apply it to any action you've done. Well handy. Just one more effect. Ease in is like a slow zoom in. It wouldn't suit this clip because there's a lot of action. Um, it just doesn't work. So once again undo, right now just showing you randomly a few of the audio effects, once again it's have a look and mess about, a few transitions that you can try, you'll get your favourites over time. Right now we need a title for this, once again just try them out, I like the static one. So, drag it on, you'll see edit comes up there, and choose your typeface, size etc, I'm going bold and italic, click here and then you can delete, I'm calling this a day at Westport, click on done, mm, too high in the screen that, so click there and press return, that lowers it a bit. I'll just play that and see if it's any use. Full screen. It's kind of okay but the title's coming in too quickly so we'll adjust that. Just get hold of this which is a bit awkward sometimes. Drag it in a little bit. And on the other end that reduces the duration that the title's on the screen. So back again, full screen. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Came in more gradually. Yep. So just pause that. We're saving now so that um, if at any point we wish to come back to it at least this part saved and now we're going to export it so let's have four K go the whole hog click on configure and I'm maxing up the bit rate this one here drag it all the way over and at the bottom two pass 
it'll take twice as long but it'll pass over it twice make sure you okay that now we need to store it somewhere I'm just going to store it under Westport for ease sorry about the slow typing but there you go and then click save and then click export it'll take it a few seconds to uh, kind of start the process off and I'm just letting it run a bit so that you can see you do get the picture coming up so you can see what's happening there won't be any sound and it's saying it's going to be 17 18 minutes well I'll condense that a little bit so here we are near the end just okay that find the storage folder now before we actually click on this I'm going to show you some other ways to edit so grab hold of this window pull over and you, you click on your clip now this control will allow you to go backwards or forwards several frames at a time the left hand one sends it back one frame at a time and obviously the right hand one one frame at a time forwards and what else you can do is double click on a frame that brings this up now if you use these sliders you'll notice in the center the duration reduces but we'll cancel that because we're not needing it here's something else that can be handy click on this and it will take a photograph which is stored up here and it also stores one on my computer under photos if you right click you can set whatever duration you want this applies to all photographs or backgrounds if you want to background and you can set it for the length that suits the titles that you may want to put on it and now look at this clip see the flag on the left could be rather annoying really so what you do is grab hold of it expand it a little trial and error this can take a while but it's worth it realign it and now no flag so once again this shot not bad really don't want the pavement to be in view so this time I'll have to pull it out further that's not looking bad it's a bit too far actually so no the titles too low down so need to grab hold of it lift it a little bit I would have moved it to the left but I'm to centralize it but I'm just showing you a quick example so there we go no pavement on that now this next shot was originally over two minutes long static done with a tripod really boring so I messed around with it a bit using the same method we've just employed I split this shot so that on what is now the middle one I could play around with it a bit and try to um, break the monotony of a static shot so just drag it you can mess around choose any point in the video that you want you could feature just the leaves if you wanted to mess about with it yeah that doesn't look so bad and now as you can see there's a little bit of diversion this is very roughly cut just to illustrate it to you that's all right we'll uh, watch our little video quite pleasing and good picture quality
Yeah, for the amount of time taken, not a bad little result really. I just hope that you get some tips from this video and uh, you're able to have a bit of fun with it. Well, that's it from me. I hope it's of some use to you.